Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Welcome to another episode of Cut the Tape. I'm Rick Alvarez. Let me turn the light on. Maybe that'll help. It's a rainy... It's a rainy day here in Massachusetts. And my wife is not home. So I'm going to open something really big before she gets home so I can open it, put it in the basement, and she'll never see it. Shh. She doesn't watch this show. Nobody does. All right, so here we go. Got something special today. Ooh. got a big box from Super 7. That's right. Got a big, big box from Super 7. What's in the box, Rick? Is it a transformer? Let's find out. Yeah. This is something that I pre-ordered a while ago through my favorite place. Big Bad Toy Store. Now, I didn't think this thing was ever gonna come out. I really thought it was gonna get canceled. But then my credit card got hit. And I'm like, what is this exuberant charge? Optimus Prime Shogun by Super 7. I haven't seen anyone review this yet. I don't think there's a lot of people out there who have it. So the carton here says blank of 692. It's not individually numbered, but if you go by how many units it says, that means that there potentially are 692 units. Let's open it up. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. Oh. So, we have our box, right? And now, we have a box inside of a box. Three, but this is triple boxed. There's a shipping box. There's a protective box. And then there's a box. Will there be another box inside? I don't know. All right, 60 centimeters. That's 24 in inches in American. Transformers Optimus Prime Super 7, Super Shogun. Rocket Punch, ooh. Ion Blaster, Leg Rollers, Head Turns, Arms Rotate. Chest panel opens to reveal matrix of leadership. No batteries, no electricity. Contents, Optimus Prime, Super Shogun, 24 inch tall, 61 centimeters. This contradicts what's on the front of the box. Rocket punch, firing fist, ion blaster, mixes of leadership, sticker sheet. Sticker sheet comes fully assembled. Very nice high gloss box. Ooh. That's a nice bouquet. That's, um, whew, that is actually quite strong. 
That's a strong bouquet. That's like very aromatic plastic. Smell. Oh my gosh. Oh. Woo. That. Wow. Okay. I'm not even kidding right now. That. Wow. All right. So here it is in the box. Excellent. Interesting. You know, the Super Shogun goes back to the days of, I think it was Mattel that originally made Shogun Warriors. I have uh, Rodan and Godzilla. Very nice, Ion Blaster. Let's see this sticker sheet. Oh, the sticker sheet is literally just the grill. Right, right here in his tum tum. I remember while I was at Hasbro, Aaron Archer was adamant, we need a Shogun, we need a Shogun. Can't find anyone to make Shogun for us. Sure enough, once we're gone, it happened. All right, we have our fist in here, our Optimus Prime fist. So it fires out of the left, which is, if I recall, most Shoguns fire from the right, but Optimus is right-handed. So it makes sense that he would fire from the right, from the left, rather. All right, so we've got a plastic bag covering him. That, that is a pungent smell of plastic. All right, so this is very loosey-goosey. Very loosey-goosey right there. Man, the fashion twist ties. I remember the first time I opened up Armada Unicron, there were so many twist ties. I think it took me like an hour to get them all. scratched and the hook the spring just the spring broke off and it's in there now matrix is inside does the matrix come off I think the matrix does come off but I'm not gonna force it We got a fist. Oh no. Are you kidding me? This the spring the spring just broke off. Are you kidding me? Oh my it look, I can see inside it literally broke off. It it literally oh my goodness. It, it literally, 
Oh man. That. That is some. Oh, look at that. That is some. That is some poor quality stuff. is all scratched from the packaging. I mean, you really aren't going to look at it from the back. The big issue is that the spring broke off. And the spring in the arm broke off. You know, I know Big Bad Toy Store is going to, it's not their fault. It's the manufacturer's fault. They have great customer service. I know they're gonna take care of me with this. Oh man, look, the inside of the legs are all scratched. Wow. And look, the face has a scratch on the nose. Oh man, I just wanna show you guys. This is where the, see the button doesn't even fire and then if we I know it's hard to see in there but this is it, this broke off on the inside so the firing mechanism doesn't even work oh man what a bummer all right this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna package this guy back up I'm gonna all right so welcome back to part two of my 11 part series on the Transformers Super 7 Shogun Warrior Optimus Prime. So in the first video, or the first part of this video, uh, I got the Super 7 Transformers Optimus Prime from Big Bad Toy Store, my preferred go-to guys. And I opened it all on tape and it broke in two places while I was examining the figure. So, uh, Big Bad Toy Store, Nancy out there, she was great. She took care of me. This is the replacement. So, let's go ahead. Open this up and remember, Always cut towards your enemies, never cut towards yourself. All right. Okay. So. This is a sealed box, all right? Sticker got a little mangled up here, but this is, this is a sealed box, all right? So we already went over what the box looks like. We kind of already went over some of the features of the item. What we're looking for is to see is this replacement shitty as the first one we got, which is not the vendor's fault, right? No. All right. Okay. So, here's the Optimus Prime box. This end up, all right. It's a box in a box in a box. Ah, 
Optimus Prime. Super Shogun Limited Edition. It doesn't tell you how many there's made. I think, I think we tried to figure out. Yeah, so this on the box, this one is number four, 49 of 308. So there may only be 308 of these. All right, so there's no other tape on this part of the box. All right. Beautiful, beautiful box. There's that same aroma. It is just, whew, it is pungent. Awesome blaster. All right. Here is the figure. Here's the shooting hand. Now what happened in the last video, I gotta remind myself because it's been, it's been two weeks since I shot that first video. You guys just saw it a second ago. So the door panel, the pin that holds the door panel fell off and then fell into the chest, which is hollow because this is blow molded, right? Just like the original Super 7 Shogun Warriors were in the 70s. Here we have stickers for the grill. All right. All right, so we'll put the stickers to the side. And yes, I will sticker it. All right. And the other part that broke, the shooting fist action. So these obviously are very loose and they don't, you know, they, they just don't stay. The matrix don't think the matrix, maybe it does come out. I, I don't want to force it. I, I think the matrix, maybe it does come out. I don't want to force it. Does it say removable matrix on here? It says matrix of leadership, but I don't, I don't want to force it. I don't want to take it out. This is, I'm going to treat this as very delicate. All right. What we have here on the back are some twist ties. And do you, do you know how these are put on? There's a little gun that just twists them. So it's not like some, you know, Asian worker that's sitting there twisting these all by hand. All right. Okay. So these, we know they don't close very well. All right. So the pin that goes in here came off by itself and fell into the chest, completely irretrievable. It's got wheels on the bottom, just like a Shogun Warrior. All right, this button broke off inside of the arm. All right, so let's try it. Let's see if it works. That is forceful. So what happened was the first time I pressed it, the button caved in. All right. Oof. There we 
we go. And fists are turnable. Great, great, great. All right. Man, we, we, I know, I know Aaron really, really wanted to get something like this made while we were at Hasbro. I'm going to send him a picture of this. He's going to be real jealous. So there it is. Excellent customer service by Big Bad Toy Store. Obviously that first one I got was completely defective. It, it was just, it, it was just a bad, bad one. This one's pretty good. I'm really happy with this. Unfortunately, that doesn't stay closed. But, uh, you know, if they had just put a little pressure fit there. Um, a couple techniques to keep this closed. Uh, you can use a little um, clear nail, nail polish, put it on one side. So when it closes, it creates a little tighter fit. Uh, another thing you can do is AGT tape, which is a double-sided tape, which is completely removable. It would hold that, right? And every time you opened it, you know, it would probably come off, but it would keep it secure and it's completely removable and it would no cause no damage to this whatsoever. So, um, I do want to sticker it though. All right, so you got two options as far as the stickers go. You got one sticker that can wrap around the sides. You can put on the grill and wrap around the sides, right? Or you can just put the one sticker, which is just the grill, right? And doesn't say anything about it being a Shogun. What do they have pictured on the box? They've got the one grill. All right. Although, hang on a second. This is I kind of feel we do need to have the sticker that announces this as a Shogun Warrior. All right. Let's crazy about the fit. It's, it's... All right, so what would happen here, this would fit around the sides, right? Not crazy about this fit. It's going to have to like get crushed in there, and I don't want to do that. As much as I want this to be the sticker that's displayed on them, I'm going to have to go with the grill because it just fits better. There it is. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And you know what? They can do a second edition of this and it could have the axe, right? I don't know if I would feel the need to buy that. If they did a Nemesis version, yeah. All right, I feel the need to buy a Nemesis version. A shattered glass, ah. That's a tough, that's a tough call because these are expensive. These are, these are $400 or 425. So these, these, this is a premium item. All right. Which is why I was so disappointed when I got the first one and it just, you know, failed the QR test, the quality control test. So this one's great. This one's going to go in a glass case tonight. Um, 
All right, thank you, Nancy at Big Bad Toy Store for taking care of, of the issue for me. Uh, I wish I could have gotten this sticker on to have the Japanese writing on the side here, um, but it just, this part is too wide for this. Um, so unfortunately, I could not have it on. And there's nowhere, there's nowhere else it would go. Right? Um, and I just didn't want to crush the sticker in there. So, with that being said, you probably see my, uh, you know, G.I. Joe concept art, vintage G.I. Joe concept art in the background. It's crazy. Um, yeah. Usually when you walk into my house, you can't tell there's anything wrong with me. Um, but I put, I put that up there. Because it's, it's not Transformers related. But they're, you know, they're nice pieces of art. Anyway. So here we go. Really happy with this. Go out and get one. If there's only 308 of these, then you know it's a super limited thing. All right. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to put him down very carefully. And uh, remember, wash your hands, get vaxxed, get boosted, go vote, and always find time to cut tape.